Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. We're going to answer some questions from the channel that you guys have left behind. As I've said before, if you have a question about this game or about anything that comes to your mind when you watch my stuff, it's almost certainly the case that other people are wondering the same thing. So I appreciate it. I try to regularly get in there and analyze what you're, you're, you're asking about because I know that it has a broader reach and appeal than just you. So thank you for leaving the comments. Again, as always, leave your in-game name when you drop comments. I will do my best to send a little thank you as a, um, a token of my appreciation. I have to check something out here. I'm going to do questions today, but I can see that I am I I lost 200,000 DEC. So I think I must have bought something on a bid. So let's go check that out first. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, guys, before we talk about that, if you're new to the channel, my name is Dwayne Cunningham and I go by Infidel1258, but you guys just can call me 12. And we cover Splinterlands all day, every day, because this game has changed my life. And this will be one of those moments, like right here, you can see I bought a $781 card. This is one card. I know what this is. This is... My goodness, this is why bid buying is so important. <laughs> this is one of the, I'm about to show you one of the most amazing things. It's a value proposition that's wrapped up in the idea of holding DEC for SPS airdrop points. Okay, so you guys know I've been sitting on a ton of DEC because I've decided that I really, really want to take seriously the SPS airdrop. And we know that the SPS airdrop is going on for another... 185 days and so during that time i want to maximize the return i'm getting i'm getting about 540 d sps per day from my airdrops in large part due to the dc i've been sitting on and it took a dip today because i, I opened a thousand chaos legion packs and because my dc is lower than like i, I was up around 1.5 1.7 even 2.3 at times over the last week or so so I'm taking SPS dead serious. And so I'm holding a lot of extra DC. That's amazing. It gives great airdrop points. But what I want to show you next is the incidental, one of the incidental benefits you get out of just sitting on so much DC. What can you do with that? You know, I, I hold it because I want the airdrop points, but there's a side benefit. When I come over to peak monsters and I log in and I go over to the buy market, I can come in here and I can do on whatever my favorite card is. Let's look at some legendary golds. Right here, I'm bidding on the Zyvax Vool card bids. And you can see I'm number two with $86. I'm bidding $86. If if somebody wants to sell uh, a Zyvax Vool for $87, this guy here, whoever that is, is gonna, gonna buy that. And, and if you tell, the bid is always lower than the low bid, low buy. So if you want to come in on the marketplace and just go ahead and look at what's on the market, you could buy this guy's one for $98 and that's yours. Or you can come in and just bid and sit and wait. And maybe somebody sells something to you and maybe they don't. And this is a huge, huge opportunity to extract massive value from this game uh, with minimum cost. There are some amazing cards in here that uh, that th there becomes great like a wide separation look at this e free rising i'm bidding on it 82 dollars. i'm currently the high bidder and the low the low buy cost is 114. if i was to buy this card right now if somebody sells it to me i could list it immediately for you know i think maybe 30 percent increase right 82 82 dollars 82 times 1.3 no more than that dude yeah, I could probably because I'd be I'd want to go under him. So yeah, I could I could if somebody sells it to me, I could add thirty percent to the price and immediately relist it. And that's that's an amazing way to build your deck. And it's and it's it happens at the same time as you are just sitting on DC to extract those SPS airdrop points. So this is an amazing opportunity that's like particularly valuable in twenty twenty two because of the SPS airdrop that's on for another six months. And to show you how potent this opportunity is, especially when you kind of put, like I forgot if I had $4,000 in there in DC. 
but it, you know, to show you exactly how effective that can be and what sort of deals that can open up for you, I want to show you what I just bought. Seven hours ago, I bought from Sai Populi. Oh, wow. That's a level four, dude. That's not what I thought it was. That's not what I thought it was. Let, let me go have a peek at this. Legendary. I needed one of those. I sold my Pegasus. Pegasus is an amazing secondary tank for the black team. I'm so pumped. I just got that. I did think it was something else. So I'm kind of disappointed that it wasn't what I thought it was, but I'm super excited that it is that. Go over to legendary, go over to death. I think it's a reward card. No, it's not a summoner. So no, is it a promo? There he is. So look. Look at this right now, guys. This is this is crazy. A max copy is selling for 145 US dollars per 1600 bucks. And I think I just bought a max copy for $781. Promo. I did. Oh my goodness. This is a max level corrupted Pegasus, which is one of the best game cards in the game and which I didn't have and which I've always regretted selling because I used to have it and I sold it to, to position myself to get the SPS pre-sale or I mean the cast leading pre-sale. I sold it for, I'm pretty sure I sold it for a couple grand and I just bought it back for $781. And not only did I buy it back for an excellent price, $781, I could immediately relist it for a hundred and for, for double, literally double it would be $1,500 approximately. And I would be the lowest bid on the market. This is so frigging crazy. The bid buy function in this game is such a money maker because you can just patiently use the bid buy in the background. You, you throw out a bid. It's a dream. Maybe it happens. Maybe it doesn't. It's a dream. At the same time, you're just sitting on and enjoying the benefit of the DC SPS airdrop points. You don't even really care if it happens, but if it does, it's like you just won a lottery. I, it's, it's as if I just literally found $700 on the ground because I could sell it now for double. But, but even if I don't, it's an amazing card that I really, really, really have always loved. And I only sold because I really wanted to get a thousand packs in the pre-sale of Chaos Legion to get the title, to get those Dr. Blights, to get, you know, to make sure I felt I was getting a good amount of Chaos Legion. Oh my goodness, what an amazing big victory. I feel like I need to end the video on that topic because I, I want this to be a standalone uh, bid, like a, a comment on how the bid buy function is so important to maximize your possible growth within this game because you know you're gonna some of you're gonna feel like yeah but that's i'm never gonna buy a 500 dollars card okay whatever you know there's a t every single card where it's three cents or you know five dollars go over to the epics couple dollars three dollars what no matter what the price the bid buy is always lower always you're giving up 10% to sometimes 100% by buying it off the marketplace. It's convenient to go in here and just click, yes, I'll take that one and go ahead and just complete the sale. It's very convenient, but that convenience costs you something. If you want to be patient with building your deck, if you understand what you need in order to grow your deck, like you're missing a specific summoner, you're missing a specific tank, um, then you can come in here and watch the prices. And, and be patient with the market and sit on some DEC and, and utilize that DEC value to get those airdrop points while simultaneously shopping with that exact same bag of money. And when the opportunity, when they come to you because they're desperate to sell, that's when you are going to win big. And that sort of opportunity is going to magnify the, the exponential growth of your account value within this thing because you're going to be stretching every dollar that much further. It's so important that you guys utilize this tool. And I know a lot of you are doing what I'm doing with respect to DC. You're sitting on DC, maybe not a million, maybe maybe only 10,000 or 100,000. But that still is opening this opportunity to you. 
So there are cards that you need. Explore this as an look at this one here. Imp Bowman's an amazing card. Two dollars and fifty cents per the high bid. Seven seventy eight on the low bid. That is an amazing opportunity to extract an a, a, you know a very powerful card for two mana cost. This is one of the best uh, archers for the red team, and it works so well with Yoden because Yoden's going to give that archery buff. Plus, it's a flyer. Plus, it has a good amount of speed. Um, if you can get a you know a BCX of that, your your team is better for sure. And if you can pay two fifty as opposed to eight bucks, heck, you could relist it the moment after that sale completes. This is one of the best and safest ways to card flip in this game for profit. By using the bid buy function, you're going to extract the maximum value from a seller who's desperate, and then you're going to be able to relist it in a profitable way for yourself. This is so important to growing your account. I really hope you guys are paying attention and you're going to utilize this tool. This is, I don't know if other markets do this or not. I don't, people ask me all the time, why don't you use this market or that market? Peak Monsters is the only market I ever use. It's, I like the heads up display. Peak Jarvie and the team have been amazing to me and they've supported the channel and they've built a tool that I like and I know how to use and I'm going to keep using it. And so, um, I think you should too. Thank you guys. Let's leave it there because that was such an amazing home run. I can't believe it. I can't believe I just pulled that card. $781. 11 BCX. 34,000 power. This is such a powerful card. I super regretted selling it, but I needed it. And I sold it for, I think it was at least $1,100. It might've been two grand that I sold it for. Either way, I sold high and I bought back low. Bargain hunting, guys. This is all about bargain hunting. It's, you know, be patient with your deck development. Utilize the tools that are available to you. Um, you don't need to rush into this stuff. You can take months and months, weeks and years even to try and build what you want out of this game. If you want a silver level deck or a gold level deck, it doesn't happen overnight and it doesn't have to. So don't feel rushed or pressured to kind of make it happen quickly. Expedience has a cost and patience offers reward. Thank you guys for your time and attention. Oh, that's so cool. Have an amazing day. God bless.